What is up YouTube back to another YouTube video and today we have a guide on how to complete the quarry master lost sector Now to find this you want to do your destinations tab and go to the EDZ and then when you spawn in just spawn up here at the sunken isles When you spawn in you're going to be right across from it So just take out your hoverboard or your sparrow and just go kind of towards this cabal ship But stop right here by this water and you're going to notice that there's going to be a cave here Here's your flag and icon. If we don't see the flag here or the icon on your map over here, that means you have to complete it normally. So what we're gonna do is run inside here. And then at some point within the cave, you are gonna see this gonna say lost sector discovered. That's when you're gonna go ahead, kill everything, kill the boss with the chest at the end, and you will unlock legend and master difficulty for this lost sector. You can see the quarry, if it was my first time, it would say discovered. And then you just go ahead, kill everything, kill the boss, do the chest at the end, like I said, and you'll unlock Legend and Master Difficulty. Now this is another one where I recommend that if you are targeting some exotic, you get your farming done. I do want to apologize for uploading this. It's 10 a.m. as I'm recording this, so, uh, you know, reset's going to be in, you know, a couple hours. But let's go over the modifiers. And let's go over everything that we got here for Master Difficulty. Solar and Void Shields. We have Extra Champions, Lock Loadout, Extra Shields, Limited Revives, Barrier and Unstoppable Champions, Void Threat, a 25% increase in incoming Void Damage. We have Scorched Earth, Enemy Store Grenades significantly more often. Chaff, Radar is Disabled, Overcharged Weapons, Strand Surge, 25% bonus to outgoing Strand Damage, and Solar Surge, 25% bonus to outgoing Solar Damage. Now, Overcharged Grenade Launcher. There's a 25% bonus uh, to damage for all grenade launchers. And then you can see recommend power 1840, but 1827. That's what I'm going to do it at, and I'm going to be just fine. Enhancement cores are uncommon. If completed solo, legendary weapons are common. And if completed solo, exotic chest armor is common. So if you're looking for chest armor and you're trying to farm it, I highly recommend you farm this lost sector because it's very easy to do. And it's a short one, so you don't have to worry too much about taking too much time here. So that being said, let's get into the loadout, and then we're going to get into the gameplay. So here's what I used to complete it. We're going to run Solar Subclass with Golden Gun Marksman. And then we got Gambler's Dodge, Triple Jump, Knife Trick, and Healing Grenades. For the Aspects, we have On Your Mark and Knock Them Down. And for Fragments, we have Ember of Ashes, Ember of Char, Ember of Solace, Ember of Torches, and Ember of Eruption. Now for the first weapon here, it could be anything you want to be honest. I just have Riptide because I like using Riptide. This can stun Unstoppable Champions if you have Chill Clip. Because as you can see for Unstoppable Champions, Stasis Shatter Effects will uh go ahead and stun them and what happens is with chill clip direct hits with the top half of the magazine cause a detonation that slows nearby targets and what happens is after you use the top half it's always going to freeze them with the slow thing and then it'll allow you to stun but just know it's kind of like annoying because if the champion's right in front of you then you know trying to get half of the magazine out in you know a good amount of time before you die or something like that it's kind of rough so I just recommend using Polaris Lance, that's what I use, and I'm going to uh, show you guys in the gameplay and everything how to use it, but pretty much for the second weapon Polaris Lance, the exotic trait is the perfect fifth, precision hits load an explosive round, so after you shoot four crits in a row, four headshots, you're going to load the fifth round, that fifth round will allow you to stun unstoppable champions by igniting them, and by the way, it also works if you headshot an enemy right next to um, an unstoppable champion, so for example, let's say there's a red health bar scion right next to him, let's say I hit the crit, and then it does like the little ignition animation and everything. It will stun uh, the unstoppable champion as well. As long as they're grouped up. They have to be like right next to each other. But that can also work. But just hitting crits on unstoppable champions will stun them. And then uh, just make sure you, that fifth crit. The f explosive round shoots the champion. Or it doesn't even have to be directly. It can be right on the ground in front of them. As long as the fire you know, spreads to the champion. But that's how you're going to stun the unstoppable. Just think about when you see an unstoppable champion just hit crits and then you have no nothing to worry about now when it comes to barrier champions solar radiant effects is what stuns them and you're gonna get this by just getting headshots and i'll go over that when we go over the artifact but there's an artifact mod that allows us to get radiant with solar weapon final blows and crits but i also want to note that for this right here ember of torches powered melee attacks against combatants make you and nearby allies radiant so you don't have to get the melee kill, you just have to throw the melee, and as long as it hits an enemy, you'll get Radiant. So, that's another way to do it, just in case if you need it for whatever reason, you know, you might be in the middle of a weird situation, you just throw your melee, hit somebody, and then you have Radiant, so you can do damage to a barrier champion. Now, when it comes to the heavy, I ran Apex Predator, you can use whatever you want. If you want to use a grenade launcher, that 
has you know increased damage but i find that the damage really isn't worth it unless you're using like one of the crazy ones but for me apex predator was good i just like reconstruction because uh if you just because i use it at the end of the boss room and i don't really use it for anything else so by the time i take it out i got those two rockets there so it allows me to just delete the first unstoppable champion and sometimes if you're lucky and you have both champions stun right next to each other you can get both of them uh to die with you know those two rockets but again it's just completely random and stuff like that sometimes the stun doesn't work and stuff like that so uh that's why i have reconstruction with explosive light now you don't have to use this by any means i feel like that you can do this without the rocket launcher if you want something like unwavering duty is just as good but i highly just recommend using something that's solar or strand that way you take advantage of the damage buff but again, whatever you use in that slot can be up to you. Now going over the armor for Renee Celestial Nighthawk with Solar Targeting, Solar Siphon, and Hands-On. I do want to note this is Harmonic Siphon and Harmonic Targeting. That way I can put Hands-On on the you know mod slot over here. And then these allow me to just get it cheaper than using Solar Siphon, as you can see here, which costs 3 energy. And this one costs 2 and this one costs 1. So that's the reasoning behind that. So if you're trying to follow it. And you're noticing that hey I, you can't put solar siphon and you can't put solar targeting it's because i'm running harmonic targeting and harmonic siphon so i just wanted to make a quick little note of that for the arms we have solar loader and heavy handed and then for the chest piece two void damage resistant mods and charged up for the legs we have stacks on stacks and two kinetic weapon surge mods and then for the cloak we have two bomber mods and a time dilation mod now when it comes to the artifact i'm just going to tell you which ones i recommend you put on just so we can uh you know go over it first row doesn't really matter unless you're using one of these to stun a champion which if you are using it in that case make sure you have the right ones equipped but for the second row i recommend using kindling trigger radiant causes solar weapons to apply scorch to unscorched combatants and then blast radius if you are using the rpg you can use it to kill some uh, red health bar enemies and it'll give you an armor charge but that's i i only have it there just in case like if i'm shooting those uh what do you call it the nightmare enemies or whatever the ones that drop unstable essence so you can do damage to the boss in the boss room when i kill them with the rocket launcher uh that will give me blast radius and then it'll grant me an armor charge so that way when i go ahead and use my super i have increased damage because of the kinetic weapon surge and everything but just know i do have that on for that now from once you came is not useful because this is not a taken or scorn lost sector so there's none of those enemies it's only cabal and i'm too lazy to change my artifact but just know if you copy this you should be able to get it done this is what i just used to get it done but just know this one you don't need to put it on it's not that useful um flint striker rapid solar weapon precision hits and rapid solar weapon final blows grant radiant this is the one that i was talking about that allows you to uh, break barrier shields because as you can see solar weapon precision hits and rapid solar weapon final blows grant radiant so you'll be able to go ahead and break barrier shields while radiant and then wish into being i recommend um heart of the flame is not helpful here because we're not playing with allies so when we cast our super we're not giving anybody radiant so it's just kind of useless then um overload rock launcher useless because there's no overload champions so uh, we can't stun them but then rays of precision very helpful while radiant solar precision final blows cause combatants to ignite that way when like like i said when you shoot that red health bar enemy near an unstoppable champion it'll go ahead and ignite them and then uh that's while radiant so you can see there's a lot of synergy going on when you go ahead and kill that red health bar enemy next to the unstoppable it will ignite and then it'll go ahead and stun the unstoppable champion so you might not even have to shoot at it again it's very very situational it's not going to happen every single time because sometimes they're distanced uh, a little far apart but just know it's something that can happen and then solo operative while you're the only member of your fire team, you deal increased damage to all combatants. And again, we're doing this solo, so it's you know great to put this on. That way you can go ahead and do some in increased damage and everything. So that's all of the mods that I recommend. Just go over it really quickly, just in case it was confusing. Raise of Precision, I recommend. Solo Operative, I recommend. Wish Into Being, I recommend. And Flint Striker, I recommend. And then Kindling Trigger, I recommend, as well as Blast Radius. So that's everything right there. Now let's go ahead and go straight into the gameplay.